Erica Olson and welcome to Inside SoCal Sunday Morning. It's been over a year since many businesses last opened their doors and as things slowly return to normal, we're shining the spotlight on SoCal spots that are getting back to business. We are sitting in the oldest bowling alley in Los Angeles, which is awesome. When did it open and what was it like back then? It was originally opened in 1927. And, you know, you had your hand pin setters back then. Um, and, you know, the lanes and everything is all original uh, from back, you know, from back in the day. We've updated some of the pin setters, but they're still also old and vintage, but just a little bit newer than the original ones. Even our bars and stuff like that are old pin setters that we took apart from here and we re-welded them and made chandeliers out of them. We made our back bars out of them, stuff like that. I think that when you walk into this place, it has a kind of a awe moment because of the high ceilings and you see, you just it's something that you least expect when you walk in. This is a great place for events. So we do a lot of events here, from small birthday parties to big rap parties to kids' birthday parties. This is a place where on weekends, you know, it's cool to see families come with their kids and bowl. Then for over a year, everyone had to put birthdays and celebrations on hold when COVID-19 hit. We had to close by the state. The order was March 16th of last year, so almost a year and one month. It's been really brutal, you know, it's so hard. Like you have a huge family. Um, this place employs a lot of people. Unfortunately, there's only so much you can do. Now that we're rehiring, we're fortunate to find out that a good proportion of our employees are coming back. So. We're just super excited to get back to work. Getting back to business for me is just, you know, is A, creating jobs again. It's just putting life back into the city and continue to grow our business. You know, we, we want to see busy bars with happy customers and spending their leisure times here, you know? So that's what, that's what getting back to business is for us. A very important question. How good of a bowler are you? I am very average. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> you own a bowling alley. I know, How is that I never, possible? Because I never have a chance to bowl because the lanes are always full. <laughs> That's a good problem to have <laughs> as an owner, isn't it? Yeah. The art world is coming back to life in museums, and Made in LA 2020 Aversion is now open to the public at the Hammer Museum and the Huntington Library Art Museum and Botanical Gardens. As its name suggests, it was meant to be seen last year, but was very much worth the wait. This particular edition of the Biennial is sprawled across the city, and one of the ways in which we decided to use these two spaces is that we're actually exhibiting all 30 artists of the Biennial at the Hammer and all 30 artists at the Huntington, so having a kind of mirror show, doubling it up. For us, it has been a really exciting process because we have gone through Los Angeles and visited more than 300 artist studios and really selected a group of individuals and art artists and practices that we felt very compelled to and we think they, they really deserve to be shown in LA. Yeah, and I think the biennial as a project, as it recurs every couple of years, is really important to the art community in Los Angeles and then hopefully important to Los Angeles in general as an opportunity to kind of take the temperature of the moment through a certain perspective. It's, I think it's, it's done its job in terms of like putting on underrepresented um, artists and uh, artists who've been overlooked, you know, and that can mean anyone from a young artist to an older artist, you know, like Nicola L or Reynaldo Rivera, they're both older artists and, you know, I think the show has given them, you know, their due. It's really an opportunity for artists who haven't had a museum show before or a gallery show before to really have an opportunity to produce some new work. I think people have been very excited because it is, uh, for most of them, it's the first exhibition that they've seen in more than a year now. So um, not only there is the excitement of getting back in the museum, but also discovering all of these incredible artists in, I was gonna say one space, but two spaces actually. And, and also rediscovering, you know, the Hammer and the Huntington, uh, how lovely it is to be here and wandering the gardens. Next week on Inside SoCal Sunday Morning, we've got you covered with Mother's Day gift ideas. Until then, I'm Erica Olson. Thanks for watching.